What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. If you will, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. That'll let you know when we post new videos. And we do have Tackle Warehouse gift cards in videos from time to time. If you uh, tuned in last week, we did a Gomex's power handle on our spinning reels. Well, Gomex has sent us something else as well. And that's what we're going to dive in today. And they have got us our new... Oh, that's not the right one. That's one I just took off. They've sent us new handles for our spinning rod, for our spinning reels. I'm sorry. We're going to put this on a Shimano Stratic. So we're going to roll that intro and dive into it. All right, guys. So I was really excited when Sh uh, Shimano, when Gomexis told me they were going to send me some reels for my spinning Shimanos. Uh, and this is what they sent me. I got to try and get it out. New sticky handles. Uh, they're lightweight. Uh, you can actually see through them there. The aluminum on the inside or plastic, whichever one it is, is hollowed out. So it's much, much lighter. It's got a real tacky, sticky feel to it. So you're going to keep a grip on those really, really well. Really like these a lot. So we are going to install that on a Shimano Stratic. This is my uh, micro finesse setup that I use um, almost exclusively in the winter time, unless um, I'm going after smallmouth, which we're gonna be going out and going after smallmouth here soon. So in order to take this apart, you're gonna need a couple of things. You're going to need a micro screwdriver set. Um, most importantly, the micro Phillips head is what I'm using. So what you're gonna do is come up top here. Let me double check, make sure. Yep, you're gonna come up top here on your Shimano Stratic handle here. And we're gonna pop this silver piece out. So I'm gonna take my screwdriver, just kind of wedge it down. And then you see it comes right out just like that. And then you'll see there is a screw sitting down in here, right there. We're going to undo this screw. Now, fair warning, it is tight in there. It is it is locked in there very tight from the manufacturer, so you may have to torque it a little bit. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Turn that thing to the left, not the right. Don't break anything. So now that screw is off, and this will slide right off just like so. Do not lose this screw. You need this screw to put it back on. So I'm just going to set it right over here. Now, you have got the washer and the bearing here from the original parts. No, it's just a bearing. I'm gonna go ahead and take that bearing off. We're gonna replace it with the Gomexis bearings. And they give you everything in this little baggie here, as well as instructions here to tell you what goes on there because you do not stick everything that comes in this baggie on there. Uh, we are doing a Shimano handle shaft type A. So we're going to do an adjustment washer let me let me get all this out real quick to show you all all right we are going to take the adjustment washer which is this itty bitty little washer here. it's so small this itty bitty little washer there we're gonna stick it on first then we're going to go ahead and put on one of the bearings that they sent us it goes on next and then we slide on the handle that i just lost there it is we slide the handle on next it's now on there and then we're going to add in bearing number two bearing number two is going to actually slide down into the handle like so and then we are going to take the screw from the old knob try and get it out okay I've now got the screw. It goes back in here. Drop it down in place in that handle. Screw it down. Get it nice and snug. Nice and snug there. You can see it's back down in there. 
And then they have given you a little black cap to lock in place on top there. And it is very snug. There we go. Locks in there just like that. And there is the new Gomexis handle knob for it. Uh, it's very sticky and comfortable. I really like it. And the cool thing about it is they don't free spin. Like, you know, on the other ones, I can sit here and flick it. That's why I'm playing with it. Because you can flick the other ones and they sit there and spin. These don't, which is why I like them. As soon as I go down there, I know where it is. It's going to grab easily. It feels really nice in my hand. And it's very nice and sticky. So if you guys like these products, please let me know down there in the comment section. Tell me if you've used any of the Gomexis stuff before. If you haven't, by all means, reach out to me. I'll get you some, I'll get you a code or something. You can try those out. Uh, we're gonna take these out on the water here very soon. We're gonna get to try those out. Uh, if you guys like this video, do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know where you're watching from. If you guys ever see me out on Douglas, Cherokee, Watauga, South Holston, anybody's water, my bright blue falcon, come say hey, we'll talk a little bit of fishing. Remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Take care, guys.